Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Free Thinkers Association podcast thing, episode two. All time good morning. An all time good morning. All time good morning. All time good morning. It doesn't matter what time, it's good morning. That's how it works over here. So you may be wondering, what are you doing in the semi-zone? This isn't where you left off. You're right. Oh, we I know where we're at now. I It took me a second to remember what we were doing before. We were heading off to Berenia. Yeah. We were around here. We had to turn the switch off. It's been a couple days. Yes, that is... Oh, we're gonna have to deal with this for like long running games now. Oh, what, going back? Yeah, like having to remember what we were doing, especially when we get to the uh, RPGs. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> we just have like a week away from playing an RPG. Or sometimes if we're just too busy, like two, that's not gonna be fun. No. But, you know what is fun? Huh. Talking to you. Yes. Indeed. I enjoy talking to you and listening to uh, and seeing all the comments from previous episodes, which are definitely happening. Yeah, there's uh, definitely <laughs> comments in our last video for sure. There will be. In, <laughs> there will be in the future. It maybe it may be in the future, but right now it's like I see you watching. There's multiple of you. At least yeah, a couple. At least a couple. Drop some comments so we can talk about them and should talk to you. Yeah, we anyway. ask you questions. Answer them. Yeah, you know what? That's true. We did ask you questions. <laughs> Fucking answer them. <laughs> anyway, Cameron, would you like to address the elephant in the room? Or should I say the muscled man? The muscled man? No, I'll allow you because you were the one who initially brought up the question to me, actually. I don't remember the origin of how we got here. But, like, I know it's why the podcast started. <laughs> the origin of how we got to the muscled men picking up the Empire State Building was we were just playing games, having fun, in a very similar situation to this, <laughs> where you decided to ask me, with no warning, out of the blue, how many men do you think could pick up the Empire State Building? And then you Wait, answered your okay, own question. That's a different question entirely. How many individual people do you think can pick up the Empire State Building? Yeah. I think it's in the tens. The tens? <laughs> the tens. There's like at least 22 people who can pick up the Empire State Building by themselves. I, I will never get over your ridiculously low answers. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, it... Uh, Absolutely has to be at least one or two thousand. People? That can pick up the building by themselves? Oh, you mean how many people could? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, in, in like, the, like singular people? That's the question that you just proposed to me, like individual people, yeah. Even that was not the original question. No, the individual question was how many MP how many muscle men would it take to pick it up? Muscle men? <laughs> well, it was originally bodybuilders, but you chose to use that word, so I'm using it now. Just a funny word, but yeah, they are bodybuilders. Uh, listen, I think that it would take a couple bodybuilders to pick up the Empire. A State couple, building. yeah, no, not a couple. It's like absolutely one or two thousand that would be needed. But going back to the individual people who could pick it up, absolutely zero. That's not even true. There isn't a single person on this planet who could individually lift the entirety of the Empire State Building. Well, it also defines, like, it also matters on your definition of lift. Like, what do you mean? Pick it up. It is no longer touching the ground. But what does that mean? He is holding it, it is no longer touching the ground. But again, what, like, can it be in multiple pieces? Does it have to be in one go? Well, Indeed. if it's a singular pebble of the Empire State Building, I could pick that up, but no, I'm talking the entire building. As a person would recognize a building as, that is what I would consider. What does that mean? That's arbitrary. So, it's at what point, it's like the ship thing, at what point do, is it recognized as that ship? 
At what point would you be able to lift it up and it be recognizable as the Empire State Building? Well, it's always the Empire State Building. I'm not talking about whether or not it physically is or isn't. It's whether or not a regular person could look at it and be like, that's the Empire State well, Building. Well, it doesn't matter if a re a regular people are wrong all the time. Like, that's why the phrase, uh, the customer is always right, doesn't make any sense. Because no, they aren't. They've never been right. Fuck you. They've been right sometimes. No. Yeah, I've never have. met a customer that's right. It's like someone, I'm the right customer. Fuck you! No, fuck no, you aren't. <laughs> You'll be like, I think this is on aisle four. And it's on aisle fourteen, bitch. That's literally you're wrong. Like I don't ask about where things are on aisles because I'm always right about where they are. No, no you aren't. <laughs> Name one time where I've been wrong. You what? can't because you don't go shopping with me. Not often. I. Yeah, but like the only time we go shopping together, I'm going with you, not the other way around. That's true. But, uh... If Dude, you... how'd I do that? <laughs> <laughs> that was sick as fuck. Yeah. But, uh... When it comes to the Empire State Building's, like... Right, I believe you would need to be able to recognize it. Otherwise, we've picked up Mount Everest and we didn't know it. Well, we knew we picked up Mount Everest. No, we didn't. Yeah, it's called Snow, idiot. Look it up. That is... No... Snow, <laughs> snow can exist outside of specifically Mount Everest. No, it can't. Yes, it can. News to I, me. I was born up north, I know. Yeah, news to me. I've never seen snow. Yeah. This is Texas. I know we don't get snow here. We That's... get sleet. No, no, we've gotten snow before. When we get snow, we get, like, capital snow. Like, uh, life-threatening snow. <laughs> like, last year. Yeah. God said, oh, you've never seen snow before. What if I just kill you then? It's yeah. crazy how, like, we actually had, like, it was something ridiculous, like, 7% of the population fucking die in yeah, one week. it was quite a bit. Texas just ain't prepared. And, of course, it turned into a political issue, because why wouldn't it? It's, this is the U.S. Everything turns into a political yeah. issue, because everybody believes they have the right to be political. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just shouldn't be allowed to... Some people read. just need to... You, they need to use their brain for what it should be used for. Giving people McDonald's orders. Damn! <laughs> It's a bit mean. I also think those people should be paid a living wage. They should be. I agree to that. Yeah. They should be. Yeah. What do you consider a living, a livable wage? Are you down 42069? 420, I, uh, what? Oh, okay. Th this is a, uh, despite it all being funny numbers, it's a real, uh, like, thing people rally for. Four day work week, 20 hours. At four. 20 hours a week, 4 day work weeks, and $69 minimum wage. I don't know about that. 20 hours a week is a kind of small. No, I don't think it should be. I think that it's kind of, As someone who's worked 40 hours a week for almost 5... Actually, pretty... No, actually longer than that. Close to 6 or 7 years straight mm -hmm. with basically no break. 40 hours a week being seen as a, not enough is ridiculous. I don't... You know, 40 hours a week not being seen as uh, too little is ridiculous, but like depends. 20? I, I don't think that's absurd. Like, I think it depends on the field. For, I feel like... Maybe the field, but, but like, like... Here's the thing. I don't think that... If it's a passion field, I don't think you shouldn't be paid for it, but I feel like... You, you don't do you passion be fields for the money. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I don't think that really comes to... Because, like, the first thing I think of is, like, it's not really fair for an artist or, like, an animator to be making the same amount of money as someone at McDonald's who's getting $69 an hour as well. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, why isn't it? Why is that not fair? Why can everyone not do the same thing in society, pay them the same? Like, it has to do with how people, for its, like, difficulty of the job. But, so, like, a okay, doctor should, not de true. a doctor deserves to be paid more. Not necessarily. A, being a doctor is awful. Oh, uh, it's awful. Oh yeah, and a hundred no times more not, difficult. In no way am I not arguing that. But like, the people who work at McDonald's also make more than the people who uh, do 
At, yeah, because McDonald's minimum wage in some areas in, in, this, in the country is like $17 an hour. Like, and that's not livable in most places. Yeah. But... Because in those places, they also have extremely high living costs. Yeah. But anyway, like, they get paid, like, way more than people who live in the same area who do uh, trucking. Like, dangerous trucking. Yeah. Trucking is a very scary job. Because that... the two things I would consider, like, reasons to be paid more for are difficulty of the job, which means the number of people who could physically do it for, like, skill reasons. Because... Skill issue. It, yeah, a skill issue. It's just like how many people could do this job. I agree with you on a fundamental level, but that's just not how everything things work right now. Like maybe not, but I was going to say that and danger. Yeah, those two things are things like, that I think again, you should be paid. The, more the harder for. your job is, and the more danger it is, the higher likelihood you get paid like shit. The people who work yeah, the hard, dangerous jobs don't barely make minimum wage. Not anymore. They used to make better. Yeah, but like cost of living uh, went up, and, and yeah, cost of living didn't start went to up. Pay them more. Yeah, they just stopped getting paid as much. They got. They weren't getting paid enough then. The problem is that the world started to change a little bit, and people are getting paid better around them. It's yeah. more like the world developed without them. Mm -hmm. I kind of rally behind four twenty sixty nine. I think that I think, it's it's good enough for most people. I think that it does start to cause issues in some areas. I think 69 is too high of a number. Because 69 then, is a really high number. I'm very against raising, well I was for a long time, very against raising minimum wage at all. Just because of the fear of inflation. But I realized yeah. that was a fear that was imposed upon me by people rather than one I had myself. I don't think the minimum wage should be raised super I'm, duper high, I'm but it needs to go up. I do think it should go up, but I'm generally against raising minimum wage because I don't think that solves the issue. I don't think that solves the issue either, but the problem it's, is that you have to just make like sure a, corporations can't fuck people. Yeah, I just think it's like a band-aid. I think minimum wage is just a band-aid on a bigger issue. I I agree. But, like, the problem is that that band-aid is more than a band-aid. It's a, uh... Sure, it's, it's gauze a, now. Yeah, it's fucking gauze. <laughs> like, it's gauze now, but, like... I feel like people focus too wait, much the on, the min on the minimum wage part that they forget that they should also be working to, like, improve the rest of the situation. Uh, okay, but that doesn't matter, because... The minimum wage is all businesses are going to go for. What What's going on right now is people fighting for higher living wages, and what are companies doing? They're just treating the people that are there worse. They're not fixing the issues. They're not upping the pay. They're just fucking the people who are there and forced to stay over more. Like, yeah. right now, the threat of health insurance is, is like, actually killing people. Yeah. People want to quit their jobs and their bosses remind them, but yeah, if you quit, uh, you don't have health insurance anymore, smiles, you're kind of fucked. Yeah. It's just a lot of issues. There is there is too many issues for it to realistically be resolved by any one small change. Yeah. But I, I think that the goss needs to get adjusted regardless. I think that the minimum wage needs to be tackled first so that we can work on the greater issue yeah. Whenever, like, you know, that's... You know who's really getting fucked? Who? Like, waiters and waitresses. Absolutely! Like... Why? I don't, I don't that get tip... tip-based wages should be illegal. Yeah. I'm... I'm more down with, like, how Japan does it, and they just fucking pay them proper wages. You know who else does that? Fucking cruise ships. Like, yeah. cruise ships don't pay their employees amazingly, which sucks. But, like... Every time you go on a cruise, you are forced to pay a gratuity. Yeah. Every single person for like I was doing, I was looking at a week cruise, right? Because I'm trying to plan to go on with my boyfriend, mm -hmm. and like to do a week cruise, the gratuity was something like 280 bucks per person, mm -hmm. and you have to pay it to be able to board. And that 280 bucks yeah. only goes to only like five or six people who really like who like the people who actually serve you. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's still not a lot to make per week, but that's for one person. Like, that's one person paying. Yeah. Is that, is that 280, whatever. That times, however, probably tens, not close to hundreds, but tens of people they deal with that week 
is how many or how much money they end up making. It's still tip based, but I agree. It's closer to what Japan does, and I prefer that as well. It's closer because it's forced on the customer, anyways. Yeah. It, it's not like somebody could screw them over. Awesome. I love yeah. doing that. That's a, that's a good way to get that early. You, you do have the grapple beam, though. I do. I'm not supposed to, though. Yeah. Also, uh, apparently, I don't know what the actual order of things is, but you can go defeat the yellow Emmy now. Oh, can I? Yeah. Am I supposed to? What the I hell don't am I know. To do right now? At this point, I don't know how we're supposed to properly oh, right, beat right, the right, game. Right, right, I just right. know the speed running way. Because I'm trying to get under four hours. I have a oh, entire area I haven't done yet being over here. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is just to get back out. Oh, it is. You're right. Yeah. Other than that, no, I think you're done, generally. In for this part of the map. Uh, am I? Yeah. I still have all this down here, though. I haven't even explored this area yet. Uh, Where do I? I you're. Oh, wait, I am supposed to go back now that I have the flash shift. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I think it's required to be able to go. I'm pretty sure it's required to go yeah, get the Yeah, I think you're right. And then after that, if you want, I can show you how to do the uh, early space jump skip. Oh, that'd be neat. Yeah, because after we beat the yellow Emmy, we just head to Ferenia. From Berenia. But yeah, people, TLDR of my argument, I, we're not really even arguing, we're basically on the exact same side. Yeah. People should be able to allow, people, regardless if they're skilled or not, should be allowed to find something that pays them equally, or at least good enough to live. They should be able to live yeah. off their pay. People should be able to live off their pay. Controversial opinion. Like, and I know the big argument is like, you know, skill issue, legacy work, etc. But it's like, it's not like fucking serving is easy. It's not like fucking working fast food is easy. It sucks. Yeah, I know it sucks, but like, it sucks ten times more to be a doctor. But does it though? Yeah. It's not you get paid more, but like as a job, not only are you it's, dealing with, it, but you like you, if you're a doctor, you want to be a doctor though, like yeah, unless you're Asian, but like people go to school to be doctors. People don't go to school then get forced into going to McDonald's because they want to. Yeah. Oh my God, you, you, you bitch. But like from, from my, from what I've heard of. Uh, like oh how God. doctors have to deal with shit is, uh, they have to work like 16 hour days. And Not always. That's, that it depends. But generally like, now, yeah. But. Yeah. It depends on like the area, how many doctors there are, but like they can be forced to work long days. They'll get like the next day off completely because otherwise they wouldn't be able to function. And a doctor that's not functioning is worthless. If they can't do that life-saving surgery for that one guy because they were too tired, oops, isn't gonna really cut it. It is... Well, I mean, to be fair, doctor and surgeon are not the same job. Yeah. So... But I've just heard a lot of uh, people being like, being a doctor is just really, really damn difficult. Yeah, no, I'm in no way am I undermining how difficult it is to be a doctor. Yeah. It's like, I absolutely being a doctor is harder than being a minimum wage McDonald's worker. Like, that's not what I'm saying at all. Yeah. I'm just saying that, like, the two should still be paid comparably because of how drastically different they are. It's just a good comparison to use. Like... I don't think it's. I don't necessarily. Think you should be rewarded for. I don't know. That's a bit much, but. I don't know, cause pay is also is. I think is instead an of an incentive to do a job. And if let's say people were constantly being paid the same amount for 
significantly less skilled jobs or ones that you didn't really have to care about. But you could think about other things, because I've heard of people taking jobs that they don't really care about but don't pay well because they really just kind of like to do their own thing while they're thinking and not care about what they're doing at their job. They're just like, ah, oh, whatever, I'm just moving through the motions. Well, yeah, but that's also called surviving. It's not like people do that because they want to. No, I've heard, I've straight up had heard people say, I just kind of do this job because I don't really want to do a more difficult one. Yeah, again, that's called surviving as well. Like, those people shouldn't be, those people shouldn't be punished because they don't want to do something more difficult either. It's just like, if money is used as an incentive I think in this PTO country, should be. PTO can be. I think PTO should be, like, oh my god, I to, where do I even go to get to the uh, central unit? I don't even know how to get there. Do I have to go some... <sighs> oh, I can go unit. over here. No. How do I... How do you, okay, you have to go through the bottom entrance. Yeah, but how do I get there? Uh, you know the way to get to Artaria? Go there. Okay, I'll look over here. Yeah, you need to head over there. Okay. Where where even are we on the map? You're there. Hold up, you might already be in the bottom one. I am not. Hold up. Oh, I know. Okay. You have to take the bottom way into Berenia. Oh, or into so Dairon gotta, from Berenia. I've got to go to Berenia. Yeah, and then there's one that's like right underneath it that takes you back here. Okay. Yeah, it's. I've made this mistake three times now. Yeah. So. So, the uh, game I have to make this week is interesting. Oh, what, for school? Yeah, I have to make a side-scroller that uh, has a fixed camera. So, like, uh, those old NES games yeah, were... Yeah, fixed camera. Yeah. I have to make a game like that, which is interesting. I have no idea how I want to tackle it. Ah, he juked me. He baited me. Yeah. Also, is it just me, or does that timing change? It does. It changes per Emmy. It does? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not crazy for thinking that it's really annoying to try and continuously do. No. Okay. Alright. So I was like, I could have sworn that one when that one was like ten times slower. I was so ready for it, and then he just still got me. Yeah. Also, this week I learned there are multiple different types of fractals. You know, the shapes that keep going into the shape of itself? You mean 4D objects? No, it's like, you could use it, it could be a 2D shape. The fractal could be a 2D shape. It's where if you zoom in on the object, you'll continuously see that object. What does that? No, I've never heard of that. You've never heard of fractals? No. So like the Triforce, if you continue to put oh, Triforces okay. in the triangles, that's a fractal. Okay. You, If you did that forever, it would never visually change. That I is what a fractal true. is. Okay, yeah. And... Recently, I learned that you could have some wackadoo fractals that aren't actually necessarily that, because apparently my definition of fractal was wrong. Oh, okay, so you just lied to me. I just lied to you, but Wh that's because that's what me? everybody believes a fractal is. I don't, obviously not, because I, I didn't that's think no that's what a fractal was. You didn't know what a fractal was. Yeah, so why'd you lie to me? Why'd you, you just install bad knowledge to me? I installed like, bad knowledge you? because that's where I came from and that's why I wanted to talk about this. But I don't want to come where you came from. Why would you purposely feed me the wrong knowledge? <sighs> because I literally just said so. You could have told me the correct definition, then told me, I like a fool, I believed X. Instead of me going, oh, okay, and then relating it to a thing. You no, that's because, like, outside of this, it 
doesn't make sense, because technically speaking, the thing I just told you is still a fractal. But the definition itself was wrong. So fractals aren't fractals. Fractals are fractals. The thing I told you with the Triforce, that is indeed a fractal. This is where I was going. But I was going to the bottom exit of the brain, and you told me not to do it. Uh, it's because I was wrong. That time I was just wrong. I've Once made, again. I, I mentioned this. I've made this mistake three times. I, I played this game two times back to back yesterday, or last night and the night before. Yeah, you have to lift and the water. I, made, you, I know you have to lift the water. I saw that. I was like, oh, I have to lift the water. And then I just didn't remember how to do it. But it's like right over here or something. You just break open something. Yeah, you just shoot this over here so yeah, you can get the water wrong. to move so you can go up. I was just wrong. Because I, th I thought you already did this and were going up. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're done. Whatever. You can just leave. I, I saw you doing this and I was like, yeah, this is I right. thought I did this too. I like... I don't know why I didn't. Uh, you, I don't know if you can get back in through here. You cannot. This is just to like visually drain the water. But uh... So like... A fractal, apparently the real definition is any shape where if you continuously zoomed in still had complexities to it. That's stupid. That's not what that means at all. <laughs> the Triforce isn't complex, it's a fucking triangle. It, so I'm... I mean, like, if you continuously zoom in, yeah, it's still you'll triangles. see a different shape. Like, you won't come down to a straight line at like, one I point. guess, then yeah. So, like, the coastline of Great Britain is a fractal. Who cares? <laughs> my, that's my, my gut reaction is just to Who get cares? confused. Who fucking cares? That's... I care slightly because I'm just interested in learning things. Too bad, you're stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's such a, I, okay, it is pretty interesting. Yeah. But like, what fucking nerd, like, decided <laughs> that that's the specific definition just so they could look at the coast of Great Britain and go, oh yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about right there. I'm gonna write this down just to fuck with people. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot the name. I watched a video over. Oh, he's got a name. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. Yeah. Of course he'd have a name. He'd want to be credited for his fuck-ass discovery. Even if he didn't want to be credited, he'd still have a name. Nope. Not one that I'd care about. Maybe not one you'd care about, but that doesn't mean you care about it now just because. Oh, I he care has about one. it a lot more now that he has one. <laughs> but he always has one. No. No. History doesn't care. History- well, no, actually, history probably cares. Math history cares. Because math history, like, accredits fucking everyone. Well, am I a mathematician? No. No. Neither am I, but I learned this random shit. You also should learn, uh... I also... Neutral. I should. Too bad I'm bad at it. You can't catch me. I don't I'm, know, he's I'm, coming up on you, and I'm you caught. made the mistake. I'm caught. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, I was I was so late on the second yeah. one. I have start I've started to get more consistently that second one. I just never got caught before, so I never had to learn how to do it. Well you're getting caught a whole lot I'm now. I'm getting caught a whole lot now. Why would you you hadn't even seen me? He hadn't seen you, but he could hear you. He could hear you, and his AI worked to work ahead of the you. The game actually lagged and prevented me from knowing when the second one was going to happen. I always feel like in the water it's slower. Yeah. But, uh... I also learned that depending on the shape, like, the dimension of the shape, you'll divide the shape, like, in half differently. So... Fuck, what was it? It was, like, a line if you were to... No, if you were to get an equal-sized shape from that shape, and you were to try and cut it in half, for a line, you would cut it directly in half, so it would be like one half for each of them, and you'd have the same shape. But for a square, you'd cut it into a fourth, because otherwise you'll get rectangles. I, that makes sense. And then for a cube, you cut it into eighths. That and I don't know... Sense. Well, because if you uh, yeah. do otherwise, you'll end up with some cubular rectangle. Cubular rectangle. I can't remember what it's fucking called. A, a, a square prism? Yeah, that's it. I I straight up forgot. 
Now. Oh, that's actually not what they're, qual they're called, because square prisms don't exist. It doesn't? No, okay, whatever. No, it's rectangular prism. Ah, okay. Square prisms are cubes. Where the fuck do I go? I see it's above me. Um, but hold this up. Needs a speed Can you look at the map? Okay. Because I know you should be able to get into here, from here. I also believe that to be the case, but I am not... Oh, you charged door that. Okay. Well, it's not my fault it hadn't appeared on the map yet. <laughs> nah, it did. I remember now. You were being chased by the yellow Emmy, though, and decided yeah. to not go through it. Well, I didn't have a charge shot ready. Yeah. That's why you didn't go through it. I didn't decide not to. I just didn't have a choice. You could have decided to go through it anyways and hope that you... Oh, yeah, also. Interesting thing. You can speed boost into the metal of these guys. Yeah. And it knocks them out. You can also do it on the second phase and it okos them. Oh, neat. Shine sparking is broken. Like, yeah. it actually insta kills almost everything. I think it one shots uh, first phase Ravenbeak. Can you shine spark Ravenbeak? Yes. And why don't people do that? I think they do. I've been watching, like, speedruns of it. I don't see people do that. People shine spark everything. I thought you shine sparked one, of, one phase of Ravenbeak. Nah. I know Ravenbeak can shine spark in phase three. Uh, he can. Yeah, I mean, he can from phase one. Uh, he doesn't do it till phase three then. He does in phase one, just super rarely. Okay. He does it a lot in phase three. Oh, come on. Yeah. But, uh. Oh, you missed quite a bit. He's going to reach you before you hit off that uh, shield. Oh, no, never mind. I'm wrong. Get owned. Damn. I'm nice. But, uh, I also learned you can, like, get through Ravenbeak Phase 1 by the, uh, first time you do a counter yeah. against him. By hitting him with nine ice missiles, waiting for him to do the counter, and then spamming so hard he dies. <laughs> <laughs> I just counter him twice, because that works, that works for me. Yeah, it's what I do, because I, I like having hands. I watched the dude mash, and it was so. It looked faster than your regular. Than your. No, I'm about to say. I bet I can do it. You might be able to, but like, it was faster than that. I know, but that wasn't me trying though. It's a re. I still think his was faster. It was going at fucking incredible speeds. There was like in between the space. For when a uh, Samus is shooting Ravenbeak, there's at least like four or five of them out. There ain't uh, much space between there. I should have. Yeah, you should just do the thing. Yeah. Get that plus ten. This is probably like the easiest one of these to do in the game. Yeah. It doesn't really take that much effort. Yeah, and then the one in Freni I learned you can do way easier. The like one where I was in the other room and then I had to go down, turn into a ball and shit. Oh yeah. There, there's an easier way of doing it. Whoa. E tank. No, it doesn't really tell you how to do that. I, yes, it does. The shine spark. Yeah. Yeah, it tells you how to do it in the like. I was gonna say weapon it. thing. All right, I know that was shine sparking. I just go back to Brenia. Do I go back to the top or bottom of it? Um, you go to Ferenia from here, actually. Really? I think. Uh, let me just look up the guide. Cause I'm an idiot. Well, now that I have the speed booster, I can go to the top path. But yeah, cause I think that's what you're supposed to do. Right? Yeah, that's, that's what it wants you to do. That's Ferenia. Well, no, I mean the top path into Ferenia. But maybe I'm miscounting which one it wants the early space jump does first. Well, yeah, where, my... where does early... How do I early space jump? Okay, I... Early grapple, early speed, early super, early cross... Okay. Uh. 
sequence break. You need the diffusion beam, ice missile, grapple beam, I do beam, not have the fusion ball. beam. Okay. The diffusion, ice missile, grapple, and morph. I have the diffusion. Diffusion, you have the you don't have the ice missile though. Okay. No. That's a lot later. Yeah, no, okay. You do need to head to Ferenia because you need to do that thing to What is Ferenia? Ferenia, if you see that uh little trail off in to your right. Here. You could do that. Actually also Oh you're right, I need I need to go up there because speed boosts. Yeah. Then uh after that we can get to Gavaron. By going through that ice zone with some uh shit, where am I going? Shit. Uh you see where the super bomb is? Yeah. The right of that. This here? Oh but no, can't, you can't. Why no, you can't. Okay. I'm going where's... right there though. I already know where I'm going. Head I I know where I'm going. Okay, defeat the yellow Emmy. Then you head to Ferenia via the elevator and defeat the Robo Chozo soldier. Yeah, you definitely head to Ferenia next. Oh my god, I just I can't I fucking not. remember. I'm. I already, so... I already figured it out, so it's okay. But yeah, you can't get that yet. You need to cross. Oh, do you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, because you need to go across that. And there's a uh, two more rocket ones, which makes it basically impossible to do using Shine Spark. The, you might be able to get it with Shine Spark, but it's just fucking impossible. Oh no, you go in through the uh, the other entrance into Ferenia. That's what it is. There's two entrances into Ferenia from Dairon. Totally fucking forgot. I broke the blocks. <laughs> Grab it! Grab it! <laughs> Yeah, I just stop for the grapple beam at this point because I miss it too often. Okay. I'll go do this and beat up my uh, worst enemy. Who's your worst enemy? Fucking. These guys are now the only enemy that can kill me. The Robo Chozo soldiers are the only ones that kill me at this point. Robo Chozos. They're, they're pretty rough to deal with. Fucking Ravenbeak? First try on hard. Robo Chozo soldiers, they killed me at least six times on my hard one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, big new Among Us news today. Oh? Not the, not the sentence I say on a daily basis, but today was the announcement and gameplay showcase of the new shapeshifter role. New shit. Oh, there's a new role? Yeah, it's an oh. imposter who can take the form and name of another oh, you player. Know what? While I'm here. No, oh, GG. Okay. No. No, I was too slow. Man, you were very slow. Yeah. That's gonna shut again. <sighs> I hate this door. <laughs> it's no. gonna shut again, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to swing. Fucking hit Y and B at the same time, damn it. Yeah, uh, there's gonna be a new Among Us update that comes out relatively soonish, maybe. They haven't given an announcement, like date, but it'll be coming out, and they're gonna be allowing I new roles. Doing this. They've been talking about adding new roles to the game forever, so I'm excited to see what they bring. I haven't played Among Us in a while. Yeah, neither have I. It's so fun, though, like. Okay, there you go, buddy. Yeah, now I can get this. Among Us is a super fun game. That is, yeah. I uh, I don't know how to. I don't know if it's rated anymore, under or over, because of the of meme culture. I don't think anyone's actually played the game at this point. <laughs> like I feel like everyone in the world's played Among Us, but I also feel like no one has. I wonder how many people just know of Among Us from meme culture and haven't I actually touched it. Don't know, cause I also don't think I haven't seen anybody who hasn't. Lane. Lane also didn't play Undertale until yeah, this year. Yeah, he doesn't play shit, which is impressive, honestly. Well, I mean, he started gaming like two years ago. 
You did? Yeah. Oh. I thought he was playing games before then. No. Okay. He started gaming after we uh, worked together. Oh. Yeah, Lane is- At a... Game Trade? Yeah. So he worked at Game Trade while not playing games? Yes. <laughs> like, he worked at a video game store, yet hadn't actually played any video games. Which is fucked up, seeing how the reason that I wasn't... The, the excuse that my boss gave me for not paying me more was that I didn't know enough about video games. But Lane didn't play them. I also am an encyclopedia. Of video games. Yes. <laughs> Here he is. Silent Robe. Silent Robe. The only surviving nice chosen on the on the in the world, maybe. One of the few who escaped. Yeah. At this point, though, there pro I think there's still. Ah, uh, no, I guess they're probably all dead by this point, anyways. Well, there's multiple. Could I mean, the Chozo soldiers? They're not alive. I was wondering whether or not they'd still be alive yet, because there's the gold one in Ito Rash. Yeah, they're not alive. They're, those are robots. I didn't think those uh, ones were robots. They I are. thought they were just regular soldiers. No, they're just robots. Okay. They're either robots or corpses that are being controlled by X. I Yeah, I know, because the Golden Chozo is controlled uh, spoilers, by Spoilers, I guess. <laughs> well, we made that just abundantly clear in the first one, episode. But... but, like... At this point, since we haven't necessarily unleashed the X upon the rest of the world, the gold shows it could theoretically be alive. No, but these it's not. That's they're they're Chozo robots. We know those exist because they're in other games. So there are just Chozo robots. I don't think any Well, of the but that one's controlled by an X. Because it has that weird mouth yeah, shit. X can take over robots too. Uh, why don't they take over the Robo Chozos? I, I think they do. I think that's why they shoot lasers at you. What do you mean? Oh, those aren't Robo-Chozos. Sorry. Yeah. Robo-Chozos are not people. Okay, I'm sorry. I got, yeah. got everything mixed up. Robo-Chozos are just robots. Uh-huh. The, the Chozo warriors are just corpses. Yeah, I was just wondering okay. whether or not any of them may be alive. No, absolutely not. Okay. Because if the X touches you at all, you die instantly. Yeah, I know that. But, so like, you don't... If, the the X isn't before. unleashed on the planet yet. Even if they were before... I don't think so. I think they're just robots. I know that that makes the distinction between Chozo and Robo Chozo basically non-existent. But at the same point time, like we've fought other Chozo before that aren't actually living Chozo. Okay. Hell, we've even actually killed Chozo ghosts before. Like Chozo leave behind all kinds of weird shit. There's like yeah. Chozo who aren't Chozo everywhere. <laughs> no, you. We know for. I know that the Gold Chozo is, like, a real person. How? He lived. It has to do with the clear wards. You can ah. actually see him leading. Okay. I just did completely slip my mind. But you get a lot of interesting images in the clear wards. So basically, TLDR, the Chozo are still just around? Question mark. It's interesting to me that Metroid's storyline wise were only created to deal with the X. Yeah. But those weren't introduced until Fusion. Fusion, yeah. Which was the fourth one. Yeah. Which is which the X Parasite existed before. Well, that, that whole storyline existed before Fusion. Did it? Because it's in the manga. Ah, okay. And that manga was made for, I'm pretty sure, Zero Mission? But I think it was... It follows. It would an, still would have been before. It follows an outline that was put down when, with Metroid 1, I'm pretty sure. Hmm, I see. Ah, yes, we get quiet just for Samus. <laughs> the two lines she says in the entire game. Other than ah, 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 
Yeah. It's so good. I love that it turns into fucking Dragon Ball. Dude, I don't even think it's like Dragon Ball screaming. I think she's just in pain. Like, well, I no, because I don't think it's in pain. It's just like a very violent scream. Like, really I'm gonna mad. fucking kill you. She's just really mad. Whoop! No. Aw, yeah, you, you can't have do that. You, you don't, don't have storm missiles. Uh. All right, time to go in a circle. How exciting. Nope, you get to follow me up here. Aw oh man, I'm so glad you take so little damage in this, in normal mode. Yeah, in hard mode you would've died. Yeah, <laughs> right there, that right there, that would've killed me. Yeah, that would've killed you. I got hit twice, that would've killed me. I had too little health. I, you know what sucks? Huh. Dark Samus dies in Prime 3. I wish- Does Dark Samus die? What? Does Dark Samus die in Prime Well, absolutely. 3? Okay. Dark Samus is a Metroid. Eh, I didn't know that. She's Metroid Prime. Ah, okay. I just didn't know that. Yeah. I know literally nothing about the Prime games. Prime 1 is about you trying to kill Metroid Prime. Because you, like, get a dist you Basically, Prime 1 is like playing uh, Metroid 1 again in first person. Mmm, okay. But if it sucked. And Prime 2 is completely fucking different. Because at the end of Prime 1, the goal is to... Is, it, it's like Prime 1, or it's like uh, Metroid 1, uh -huh. but with this new concept called Phazon introduced. And Prime 2 ah. is basically... It's a continuation of Prime 1 in a very, very good way. I like the way the story goes in Prime 2 quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And I think it fleshes out the gameplay in a much needed way. Okay. But Prime 2 is the introduction of Dark Samus. But like in Dark in Prime 1 we kinda know that Dark Samus ah, turns fuck. into Prime. Yeah. Or or Prime that turns into Dark Samus. Mm-hmm. That's when she has gross feet. Fuck. I hit it too early. I gotta say, Dark Samus's feet may be some of my least favorite design aspects of any raw character I've ever seen. Oh, fuck. You have to be on the ground to shine spark. Was no, you don't. In the morph ball, I'm pretty sure. Oh, in the morph ball, maybe. You can just do it diagonally while you're on that platform. You don't have to shoot it. Oh, you can do it diagonally? Yeah. I didn't know that. That makes shit way easier. Wow, oh, that makes it way easier. Yeah. I've been, like, flipping out of the morph ball and then hitting it over. Nah, you just have to, you can just do them diagonally. Ah, oh, that... Where's the internet for telling me that? Everywhere. You've watched speedruns. That's how I know. I've watched parts of speedruns, not whole things. Okay. We're picking and choosing now. No, it's just because right. I like watching Ravenbeak. I just like that's, watching that fight. That's fair. It's a fun fight. Yeah. Uh, Dude, I, am, I really hope that Metroid 6 has, like... I, I I want their I want Samus to have a new meter. Mm. I want Samus to have the Metroid suit as an install super. Interesting. That's how I think it would have worked the best. If she could like pop devil trigger. <laughs> she yeah. sl heals slowly, gets to suck stuff up, gets hyper beam whenever for like puzzle solving and shit. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. Uploading data. I want. I want to know how they're gonna handle like the Samus turning into a Metroid in later games. That's what I was saying. Yeah, no, I just want to know how they like handle it story-wise. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just interested story-wise how they how they'll handle it. I think that the Galactic Federation is not gonna be happy with Samus. Uh, That's my guess. Maybe. I don't know, because okay. they're the ones who turned Samus into the Metroid. I guess. But, like... Not really. Yeah. They just gave her the fucking... Oh, what did Lane call it? The Metroid Moderna. 
Metroid like, Moderna. <laughs> like, it's not like that was. It's just that's what happens when you have un, uh, unclinically trial vaccines. You turn into a fucking alien. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow, really showing off a lot of skill. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? Uh, I have to go up there. Yeah. Okay. I'm. S I'm honestly. I understand that Nintendo wouldn't deform Samus too much. Well, yeah. But like, I'm surprised that she still has a human face. I don't think she. I'm should surprised anymore. the suit isn't uh, attached to her. It is. Like physically, yeah. she can't take it off anymore. Well, she couldn't take it off before. Oh, okay. She could never take off the power suit. Oh, okay. I just didn't with know Zero that. Suit Samus, you know that little thing she has on her boob? No. She has like a little thing, like a little crest, like a small like black circle with like a, like a little marking on her on her chest. I'll say yes. I still don't really know. That's where the power suit is. Okay. She can just pop it in, like, Iron Man's suit in Iron Man 3. Okay. She was basically not able to retreat to the Zero suit in Fusion. Because the X infected her body and the Metroid DNA was still fighting it off. Yeah. The way- the reason Samus's suits get bigger in this game as she gets, like, further along is it's to represent that she's healing. That's why less of her skin is showing as well. Like the fleshy texture. There's... Is the white part supposed to be fleshy? No, not the white part. The uh, the colored part. It's fleshy. All of it's colored. No, I mean like the orange. Like the like the the orange, oh, orange. the orangey metal is suit. The like yellow on her leg is flesh. Okay, I just thought you that can... was like cord cable type. No, thing. you can look at the amiibo too and get a good look of it too. The she has a ton of it exposed when she's in her base various suit. Or in her base power suit, mm -hmm. but in the various suit, there's less of it, and in the gravity suit, there's like none of it. Okay. It's only visible in her shoulders, but her shoulders are so much more defended because the armor is gigantic. Yeah, that's all flesh. You see all that? Okay. I see. And, you know, as she gets stronger, there's less of it showing to represent that she's healing from what the eggs did to her infusion. It's a cool visual metaphor. Someone, okay. one of my moots on Twitter pointed that out, and I really like that detail. I just misunderstood what that was. I was just like, yeah, that's like cable for power in the suit. No, nah, because I mean, it was it was very much explained that the suit like melted into her body in fusion. That's why she was the way she was. In all the fusion promotional art, she can't even hold her arms up straight because she's so weak. Oh, okay. Like all the all the fusion promotional art has her in like very awkward poses because she's just barely holding on. I see. That's no good. Oh, yeah, but you know, she's basically on top of the world in Dread. Yeah. Quite literally at the end of it, she is as strong as she's ever been. She's the strongest she's ever been. Nothing can fucking touch her. Like, actual- oh, no. Yeah. I got pulled out. But, uh... So, I, what I'm wondering now is, like, what happens with power scaling? No, I hate these fucking things. No poison. Because how does Samus forget her abilities going into the next game? That's how I. That's what the fuck I was thinking. Does the is the Metroid suit a pickup in the next game, like the gravity suit? <laughs> what fucking enemy are you fighting where the Metroid suit becomes necessary? No, it could necessary. just be a, It could just be a Chozo statue thing. I don't know. Like how the f I, 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 it makes the least sense. Realistically, yeah. unless there's a Chozo statue with the Metroid Moderna, you take the syringe. Just <laughs> okay. You're gonna die to some common enemies, dude. Nah, I'm good. I avoided that guy. Parry that guy. Nice. Uh, I parried him, <laughs> but I couldn't do anything. Oh, okay. Uh, did you hear that the Warner Brothers platform fighter base roster got leaked? I did. I saw the thing you posted in Discord. I did not know. I think I talked about you. We talked this about you a little bit ago. I did not know that uh, Warner Brothers owned Cartoon Network. I didn't either. That I didn't know that. That opens up a lot. Yeah, it does. Like, I didn't realize that. I this want could Samurai be, Jack. I do too. I didn't realize that this could be the Cartoon Network platform fighter. Yeah. I kind of joked about it when the Nickelodeon one got announced, but like, 
Yo, Cartoon Network plus Gandalf? That sounds kind of sick. Yeah, ah, uh, no, you can... You can die. No! <laughs> he was like, no, you can die. D you didn't press X in time. I meshed! Yeah, you didn't time it right. And I got like a half thing. It's up here, isn't it? Yeah. No. Oh! Barely got that. Eh, that one's really easy. You know what game's coming out that I totally forgot about? Huh. Bayonetta 3. Yeah. Too it's, bad it's like gonna take fucking forever. It's. It's Did almost you... out. Almost. We're it'll, approaching. It'll be out next year. Maybe. Hopefully. Do you think it's gonna make it to the Switch? Do you think I, Prime well, 4 is gonna it's make been... it to the Switch? Uh. I'm gonna say yes. Even if the Switch 2 is not back compat? Yeah. Yeah. You think Prime 4 is like guaranteed? I because I think at this point they've been developing for too long. We for thought the that Switch. for Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and it's they made two versions. So you think that might be dude No, you don't don't actually die to common enemies. There's a healer dude at the top up there. Just go over yeah, there. That's what I'm gonna do. Just fight these dark matter blobs. But there we go. Because I was safe. just gonna say fuck it. Wait, I can't shoot the- ah, uh, well, no, whatever, it's fine. I already forgot what we were talking about. So it's- if I remember it. Oh, what a shot, that was nice. Just wrong angle. Yeah, no, this is to skip the oh, can uh, I try? jellyfish, yeah. Okay. If you do this to shoot that, you can skip the jellyfish and not ever have to fight him in the entire game. Regardless of 100% or not. This this one is the only one I can get. Yeah, uh Who else from Cartoon Network could we get that we want? Johnny Bravo. Oh Just yeah, about Johnny already. Bravo. He'd be interesting. Um Can you do this? Uh yeah, I think doing it from the bottom's easier. Okay. I have shots going through, but I'm not angling them right. Yeah. That was my biggest issue, is I kept misangling them. It could be that... Ah, whatever. Whatever I think is probably wrong, but... Uh... Who else we got? Fuck, what? Uh, Teen Titans. That's true, because Batman and Superman are in the game. Yeah, Batman and Superman. I want I want cool Robin, not Teen Titans Go Robin. Well, we'd probably end up getting uh, cool I know Robin. we'd probably get Go Robin, but no, we'd like... we'd probably get cool Robin. Oh, we'd probably get cool Robin? Yeah. That's good. That's the one I prefer. Dude, okay, I'm nice at getting this, but not nice at the angle. Yeah. In it's just in because this is the only one I can get. And I get it somewhat easily. I can land almost every shot. Why Why is it so hard to get the angle? I don't know. Alright, you can take it back. I can't do it, okay. I guess. Do you need charge shots? No, I just charge it. That's just how I do it. Do you have to angle it? Like, are you sure you're doing it in the right place? I'm just poorly angling it. Yeah, I'm doing it in the right place. I've done this twice now. Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're gonna add Big Chungus. Yeah. That, well, I don't know about Big Chungus. They added Big Chungus to a couple of their other mobile games. Oh, okay, then maybe. Like, all the gotchas have Big Chungus, and he's named Big Chungus. <laughs> he's, not, he's not Fat Bugs Bunny. I guess it's the power of memes, then. Well, yeah, that's what, uh, according to, like, leakers, that's where the game came from anyway. The memes? game came from Ultra Instinct Shaggy. 
Really? Yeah, Warner Brothers is all about that meme. They've been doing a bunch of there stuff with Ultra Instinct Shaggy. It's now... Oh, okay, so I see when you angle it. Yeah, that's what I was missing. Ah. Yeah. Um, Ultra Instinct Shaggy was in the beginning of the second Mortal Kombat movie. Was he? Yeah, he was, he, like, for the Warner Brothers, like, the animated Mortal Kombat movie, uh -huh. the second one, they had Ultra Instinct Shaggy uh, grab Scorpion by the throat and pull him to hell. <laughs> Why didn't I ever see this? I don't know how you missed this. This was everywhere. I don't use social media anymore. Okay. I require people to tell me. But yeah, according to the leak, Warner Brothers execs love the meme. And they know about the hole in the market because nobody uh, is catering to the Smash scene. Because Nintendo fucking won't. So they yeah. wanted to get a bite of the pie. I mean, yeah. They'll probably get it. People will effectively buy it just because... It's free. Oh, it's free? Yeah. Okay. I have no idea how that's gonna go. Yeah, what is their decision on making it free? based on. Apparently it's mobile gamey and super duper cheap looking is what basically everyone has said about it that's seen it. That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. But we can hope. Alright, these things need to die. I'm tired of you. Speaking of things I saw while browsing on Twitter, I saw this video of this woman who was getting convicted of a murder, and the judge hated her. He hated her so much, because she was just very uncaring about the whole case. She was like, yeah, whatever. I didn't do it. He's stupid. And, it, but like, it, like, he's dead. Yeah? He died with uh, 17 stab wounds in the stomach. And this is, uh, the, you know, he died in 2021, the current year of recording. And he had apparently, like, tried to go after her in court before because she had attacked him with a hammer in 2018, yet they stayed together. That man made a bad decision. Uh, yeah, he made a, a fatally bad decision. There we go. The judge was like, I don't know how you can sit there after you stabbed him, 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 you stabbed him. You stabbed him. He's just <laughs> He fucking... did all 17 times and he went, Until he was dead. You gutted him like a fish and you're sitting here before his family and you want to tell him that he wasn't nothing more than sushi? <laughs> That's a funny judge. <laughs> he was red. He was pissed. He was like, he meant it like 100%. Oh, like, he, I guarantee, I know he meant it, but, like, that's just a funny he thing. He was so fucking mad, and he, like, like, later it cuts to him, and he, like, <laughs> it cuts to him later, and he's like, I'm sentencing you to life. If this was, if this was a, a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair if you could fit in it. We need the couch for you. She was very fat. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I don't remember. I know this was on the news. This was on like CNN or something. Yeah. But this this judge is hilarious. This judge is based. Yeah. But also, I could imagine that I would be very very sympathetic in that case too, like if I was the judge. Yeah. All right. Where am I? I mean, it's your oh, job. Oh yeah, I can show you the thing. It's this first place where. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I fucked it up. I landed in the ball. Huh? Yeah. It's your job as a judge to like be impartial in this kind of stuff, but like, it's kind of hard to be impartial when some people are just fucking awful, and you know they're fucking awful by looking at them. Yeah. Yeah, no, going in here is fine. How do you get the early space jump? Uh, you have to be in Ferenia to get the early space jump. Also, we missed early super missiles. 
Oh, I remember okay. how to get them now. You need to be in Dairon. You head to Gavarin from Dairon, but whatever, it doesn't matter. We can just do this normally. Hey, there... Yeah, it's you. Fuck Little off. Chob Chobzo warrior. Nope. Nope. Man, my phone is being blown up about people talking about the new Among Us thing. Are they? Yeah, it's neat. You know, I I really wouldn't want to play some more social games like Werewolf. Yeah. We'll probably play some at, uh... Connors. I wish we had more people that would come on the cast, because, like, doing a, a werewolf day would be fun, but that seems impossible, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. That doesn't really work with the format. Nah, it's... it'd be pretty difficult. Nah, we would just do it over Discord. I guess, yeah. Tabletop sim. Oh, you're dead. Oh, no. I'm fine. I'm living. Are you living? As long as I don't get hit, I'm living. Got missiles. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay, he rapid fired me. He was like, gah, 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 I hate these died. guys. I don't know how we don't have the diffusion beam. Well, that's a very late pickup. No, nah, the wave beam's the late pickup. The, diffusion, the wave beam is the one that lets you shoot through walls. The diffusion's the one that. Uh, yeah, they're both pretty late. Nah, cause your time. Your... I did this twice, and I had it at this point. Well, you're not supposed to without sequence breaking. The net. Well, you, okay. you get the uh, wave beam. No, you get whatever. What we get the next beam. The next time we go back to Ferenia. Do we? Yeah. You need the space jump. No, for it. we. Do you need the space jump for it? Cause you get you get early space jump. By using the diffusion beam. Well, I'm not sure then, because that doesn't sound right. I don't remember. I know we're playing the game in order, so. Uh, mostly. Yeah. Uh. No. Man, you're not too great at fighting these guys. Yeah, it doesn't help that I'm really bad at dealing with uh, talking and playing. Yeah, just just uh, be better. Yeah, well, that's real hard. Yeah, no, it's not that. I'm not good at a uh, play talking. Yeah, just just hit it. That's why I don't usually don't. Just hit it. Here, let me do it. How hard can it be? You guide the conversation. What do you want to talk about? Let me look at my list of things that went really really long. Oh yeah, actually. I want to talk about where the super early super missile in the like proper in the the pathing that oh, I usually take. I forgot how to use missiles for a sec. For this, so in the path that I took, we ignore the first enemy entirely. Get the spider magnet, defeat Corpius, do the thing in Tyron, wide beam, get the green enemy for the morph ball. This all the sequence break shit. Defeat Kraid the diffusion. <laughs> We d you need to pick it up from Kraid! What? The fusion beam! We have the fusion beam. The diffu- <sighs> Come on, there's- right? Don't you- We have the diffusion beam. Okay. That's the one that lets you shoot through walls, we have it. It's not the one that lets you shoot through walls. Yeah, it is with charge shots. Uh, that's the one that explodes walls. It's not really what it does, but sure. Well, you can't shoot through the walls with it. Well, the wave shots. beam's the only one that shoots well, through does, the walls. It does explode, but yes, it, it technically lets you shoot through walls with the charge I beam. I guess. That is what it says in the, in the item description. Okay. The fuck do you get the green? It's late. You get it uh, around the time you get the gravity suit. Like, it's really yeah. late. I'm gonna look through this. Um... Oh, you get in Elun. Which is soon. Oh, okay. That's where we're heading soon. There we go. 
because we almost didn't have enough missiles for that guy. I just didn't miss at all, and I barely yeah. almost had no missiles. It's where we head after this. I thought it was like, yeah, like that's what I was saying. We weren't supposed to have it yet. We were gonna get. It soon, I was, I was just fucking getting the thing wrong. I thought the diffusion beam was the green one. No, I guess we have the thing we need. We just need the ice missiles, which we get from the Emmy here. That's how we can get the early space jump. Can we deal with the Emmy now? No, you can't. Also, he's paused. It, oh, that's right. He is uh, dead. Yeah, he's just a little old s s boy right there, just like, I'm going to catch you. Is that... After Elon... Ice Missile... Yeah, you head back to Gavron, beat up the blue enemy, and Ferenia. Then you do that weird shit for the early space jump. And then immediately afterwards, you head to Artaria for the early screw attack. Oh, okay. And that's the path that I have been taking. At this point, though, I have no idea what the actual pathing is. You were no match for him then. My real playthrough? I'm fucking lost. <laughs> I used to know where to go, I now know not where to... I just know the speedrunner pathing now. I think it was kind of... I think, like, my first playthrough, I was like, damn, Adam really is president of this dude's fan club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking, he is rooting for him all the way. You... You're a bitch. Yeah, you, you are can't nothing. Touch him. You think you could touch one of his fucking feathers? No. No. He'll bitch slap you across the planet. If you so much as looked in his direction, you'd explode from his sheer girthy aura. <laughs> you are not only yeah. no match, you don't deserve to breathe the same oxygen. <laughs> ah, yes. For, so. Something I just want to bring up to the rest of the people here who probably haven't gone to this place in a long time, but we went recently. Medieval what? times! I talked about this, uh, we talked about this before, but yeah. I, I just want to bring up that their food is bomb as hell. That is what we talked about. I think me and Lane talked about it, but <laughs> we talked about how awesome Medieval Times' food is. And you know what, let's talk about it again. Fuck it, it was fun. Like, yeah. Medieval Times was such a- we won. And we won! <laughs> like, I get to win! Their food is so much better than I remember it being. Like Yeah, I thought their food was shit previously. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe I Maybe it's because I was always salty because I lost. I don't know. Maybe it's because you were even more picky as a kid. No, I was just as picky. I mean, I've I mean, you I like used to few... like chicken. Huh? Whenever we first became friends, you didn't really like chicken, so... It's not that I didn't like chicken, I just love beef. At this point, right now, I'm like, I can go for either and not really care. Yeah, because like, you used to not like chicken as much, and I can imagine it was probably worse when you were a kid. Yeah. Also, this is the area you enter. Also, this isn't where you're supposed to go. Head back to Gavaron. Go get the super missiles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because this is the place to get the skip for the super missiles. The next place we head is Elon. Oh, okay. Because that lets us start progressing the story with the Emmys again. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Where are the super missiles? Uh, they're like right outside of this door. Are they? Yeah. They're like right over here. I don't remember exactly, but you should be able to get to them within a couple seconds. Okay, well, they're not here. No, they're not exactly in here, but, like, they're really close to this part. Yeah, I might as well grab this. If it's here. There's, like, no reason not to. Take my energy, dude. Yeah, down there. Ah, uh, I didn't notice that this was a bomb thingy. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, I don't know what it is about me. I just see that as bombable wall. I know, I like, I do too. I just didn't even see it for some reason. Ah. Uh. 
Man, super missiles are so weird in this game. All the missile upgrades are very strange. Yeah. Because they're just missiles. You Yeah, they're all just counted as missile. It's like my missiles get slower, but they do like so much more DPS. Uh-huh. It mm -hmm. goes from like 100 damage to 300. And then ice missiles are like... 500? Yeah, and they have the same DPS as regular missiles. Yeah. Well, they have like the same like shooting speed, not DPS, because clearly a higher number is going to be better. Mm-hmm. Just really wanted to do that. Yep. Yeah, now we head in here. <laughs> You're not not gonna pop out of the ball? There we go. That wasn't necessary. I didn't want to get out of the ball. It would have been easier. I'm lazy. Oh, I don't know if that's necessarily something you would claim to be lazy about. It is. Because I don't want to do it. But it would be easier and have taken less effort. Nah, but I would have had to press an extra button. You would have pushed less buttons because you had to push the bomb button to boost yourself up Yeah, there. but those buttons are easier to press. Actually, how so? I just like pressing them better. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that, I guess. <laughs> I'll take you like the buttons more. It takes more physical energy to push down a trigger than it does to push down a singular button. Eh, not for the Switch. Not for the Switch Procons. Because those are effectively buttons. So, here's what I'm wondering, right? Never mind. I answered my own question. I was going to say, I thought for some reason I was convinced that the reason <laughs> that NSO... By the way, fuck NSO. Uh, if, like, NSO in 64 games don't take the L button on the GameCube because it's analog. I thought for some reason that was the reason, but no, it's just bound to ZL, so yeah. can't do much about that. They just bound it in a very weird way. Also, okay. What? <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I felt like it. Am I not allowed to have fun? Why do you judge You're allowed me? to have fun. Why do you judge every decision I make? Because the viewers will judge every decision you make. I don't care. So I'll just do it vocally to you. So oh, you get to that's right. Experience it we, uh, we just make a huge mistake. <laughs> it's not a mistake. You win. You eliminate <laughs> the planet. Yeah, it's not a mistake if you win. <laughs> it would have been a massive collateral mistake if you lose. This... Yeah, if Samus dies to an Emmy after doing this, this is such a problem. But to be fair, Raven Beak already knew this was here mm -hmm. and was just gonna kind of let it rock regardless. Well, I feel like wasn't Raven Beak pushing Samus to do this? Yeah, but like he could have done it himself. And well, I think he didn't want to do it himself because that would have put him in danger. I don't he's think still like. Not exactly great against. I mean, he has oh, he, he has, has the no defense too. against the X. You know what? That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, he has no defense against the X at all. Uh, he's in fact quite owned by them. Yeah, he has Plus. his like shield, but that's it. That doesn't defend him from the X at all. Yeah. It evidenced by the fact that he gets his shit rocked. Well, I think it might just a little bit. Because the X do make a visible appearance directly in front of him in one of the clear wards. I think so he know. must be fighting it or something, so... I, I just think that, like, the shields around him are able to block them from being able to get into, a, get into him, but otherwise he can't do much. He, he still can't eliminate the X. Like, he can't destroy them, but he can, at the very least, protect himself from it. Yeah, maybe, but I guess not when they're behind you. <laughs> well, Everyone to seems to die to things behind them in this game. Everybody dies to things behind them, but at the same time, the, uh... He just had the fuck, like, eliminate, uh, the energy eliminated from his suit. Yeah, that's true. Were you going to say the fuck eliminated from him? Uh, the f <laughs> I was going to, like, try and put the energy and fuck in there somehow. The energy. 
Yeah, and I just couldn't figure it out, so I just abandoned the word fuck. <laughs> it was like, ah, uh, no. This what is this? Uh, it's the green one. Oh, is it? Okay. No. Yeah, yeah it, is. it is. It's the green one. Because otherwise, you can't progress. I fucking just grab it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. The plasma. Yeah. And then from here, once we head back to Gavaron... We get screw attack? No, we, no, we head to Ferenia. Yeah, because we get space jump. Then we get space jump. I'm so strong now. Yes. You can get... You can do the bi much, much better damage. Which I think the uh, the damage output for per shot for this is 50. Yeah. Which is pretty solid. But for a while, unless you have killer mashing, it's not worth it. I've got good mash. Yeah, you've got good mash, so it's worth it. But for like the viewers at home, they don't got a killer mash. Yeah, y'all's mash sucks. Yeah. My mash is like barely enough to make it worth it if I'm not moving. If I'm trying to move and shoot, I can't. I can do both. Uh, the X has not awoken yet. That's because that's not where you're at. Yeah, you're a dead guy. Yeah, there was a dude in there, but he's dead now. Yep. Okay, I think the gold one's dead too. I think the gold one is. Yeah, I think. Because they're both X. So I think they were just alive at some point, but aren't now. Okay. I can say, my mash is good enough at this fight because you can stand still for long enough. Yeah. That it, like, mine only takes like 5 or 10 more seconds. This one is real easy. Once they start shooting lasers at you, it's annoying. So then I have to care about shooting them. Whoa. This fight's... I struggled with this fight initially. Oh yeah, I don't have to match but anymore. Like, Samus just owns them. Uh-huh. At this point, this fight it's easy a joke. as fuck. It's a joke. These fights easy. The Robo Chozos will always fucking kill me. I don't know what it is about them. Nah, you have to head in from the left. If you shoot a missile to the wall to the left of it, yeah, there you go. I see. N e tanks are nice. E tanks are nice. We have okay. so much health. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's our next location? Next location, we're heading back to Gavaron, and then we're heading to Ferenia from there. Okay. And then I can show you the skip and how you're supposed to do it. I'll probably, like, show you the area you're supposed to shoot and then just tell you the buttons. Okay. But, uh... Yeah, Samus is just looking around like, this planet's gotta fucking go. Samus like, <laughs> oh no. This planet's gotta fucking go, gotta die. Yeah, Samus is like, ah, oh, this might not have been the greatest thing. I should not come here. Too bad, it's required. Yeah. So yeah, like, I was talking about this earlier, but I think the Galactic Federation's not gonna be too happy with Samus when she comes back for a couple of reasons. One, uh, she's a Metroid now. Two, I mean, she was kind of sent here to see what happened to the equipment, not to fucking destroy it. So... Well... Things happened. Things happened, but Samus not only is not an employee. She's a bounty hunter, which means she is, by, she is contractually obligated to have brought it back. She may have been contractually obligated, but, you know... Things went down. There was a living Chozo. Two, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them. Yeah. One of them immediately attacked her. Okay, but, like, that's just part of the job. It's part of the job, but because of that, they took... She found out that they took over the Yennies. Okay, but that doesn't matter. She still had to bring them home. She was still supposed to find them. If they were non-functioning, she could have, but she destroys all of them, trying to survive. Yeah, but survival isn't really part of the job. Yeah, <laughs> but if Samus died, 
nobody would have any idea what was happening on this planet. And then they just have to endlessly send bounty hunters. I think this is still a better situation for them than if Samus failed. Probably. But you know what the best situation is for them? Uh, Samus comes back and doesn't destroy their fucking equipment. Sure, that's the best situation, but like... How... Does the Galactic Federation just say fuck Samus at any all given points? Yes. Okay. Quite a lot. Hell, that's the point of fusion. <laughs> I know that's the point of fusion, but... Like... Oh, nope, you uh, gotta go through... You have to let Adam speak. Speak to us. We gotta find an Adam skip. Uploading data. Uh, shut up, Adam. Uh, well, actually, doing the sequence breaks is shut up, Adam skip. Yeah. Because he just talks so much less. That's true. His motives are still a mystery. He, at some point, he's just... He stops telling you about certain things, like where to head because you've already done it. Perhaps regardless, the X are here. They are overrunning the planet. They are overrunning the planet. Yeah, they are overrunning the planet. They must be destroyed. you will make it here safely. So... Have you heard of the book, The Count of Monte Cristo, and read it? Yes. Have you seen the anime, Gon Kutsuo? What, what do you expect me to answer this question with? Maybe. Why would I have watched this? Because this anime is an adapt- it's an anime adaptation of The Count of Monte Cristo in a sci-fi world. What? Yeah. Okay, but you know what I have read? Huh. Jojo Macbeth. Jojo Macbeth? You know the, I, I guess you're not supposed to say it during any sort of performance, which this technically is, but you know the play Macbeth, uh -huh. the one that's like cursed or whatever? Yeah. It had a manga adaptation. Did it? My, made by an American. Made by an American. Oh. Drawn in paint. <laughs> this isn't what I was expecting. <laughs> no. you. It's the fucking one to the left of the branch. I leave. Yeah. You I, can I get back. this if you want. How? Uh, well, maybe not. You, I don't know if you can jump up high enough. And these guys are really fucking with you. Nah, you can't, like, infinite bomb hop because it doesn't work very well in the water. No, it's, I like, got, purposely meant to not work. Okay, yeah, like, even at the end... Wait, what do you mean it's left by the branch? You see that branch on the second layer? Yeah. It's- you bomb the one oh, directly to the okay. left of it. At the end of the book, he like had a tutorial on how to draw like him, and it was in paint. And like, he had like, in the book, pictures of MS Paint. Yeah. And his drawing process. Okay. Like, I can- I can safely say I've never seen that one before. And, okay, it was- it was sci-fi Macbeth trying its hardest to do part three Iraqi's art style. <laughs> and like everyone was on flying horses. And it was like, it was like crazy. It was like the definition of sci-fi because it was all futuristic, but also like Asgard. Okay. It, it made no sense. I saw what you egg while someone shot someone with a laser pistol on horseback while someone else stabbed him with a spear. Like, <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> that sounds like something I should read. I know this is quite the derail from what well, you were I talking mean, about. It's but... a, it's off topic, but also on topic. What's uh, what were you talking about again? <laughs> the anime adaptation of The Count of Monte Cristo. Oh, I mean that is just as weird. Yeah. Because it's like an 1800s book that just gets adapted as a sci-fi anime. That's, yeah, and that's it's, really fucking weird. It's pretty good. Okay. I might watch it. It's like a... Uh, generally, people regard it as like an 8 out of 10. That's pretty high regard from anime fans <laughs> who hate everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's just surprising, because like... I watched it a couple years ago. And then later learned it was based off of an 1800s novel, and I was like, what? That's fucking weird. <laughs> Which is probably interesting for uh, people who are big into literature, somebody who watched the anime version of that first. I mean, I would consider myself 
into literature to a decent amount. I've read yeah. a book before. <laughs> We've all, most people who have gone to school have read a book mainly because it was required. Get, get out of my, I can't. You just, just go underneath him. I tried. Uh, when he goes up, do it. I know, I, I did this and he d it didn't let me. Like, you can watch the video back. I fucking slid and he just ate me. Like, goes back, uh, they say, well, clearly you were too slow. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, oh, it's... fuck you. It's okay, it's right here. Oh. I can't. Just reading, knowing that I read a, like, generally highly regarded literature novel as an anime before knowing it was a novel it's very weird and interesting to me it's i wonder how many people have read the book i'm talking about the adaptation of macbeth not knowing macbeth was a play a decent bit i would assume because that book was in our high school library yeah and that's I, where i read it i bet well, if it was American, then probably not. But if it was in Japan, if it was made from Japan initially, a lot no, of people would have been. Certainly not. Yeah. I wonder where they got it from and why they had it. I don't know. No, you can't do that multiple times. Oh, right. Okay. That's the space jump. I was relying. The on space some... jump is such a minor upgrade. So is the spin boost, because you but only they, get... But they matter so much. They matter so much, but it's like, if you got the space jump, if you could get the space jump before the spin boost, the spin boost would be unnecessary oh, and worthless. Where's the ice beam? You need to uh, defeat the blue enemy here to oh, get it. shit. Okay. You also require it to get the uh, early space. Alright, so I gotta do the blue enemy now? Yeah, do the blue enemy. Okay. So just do the one on this planet, which is doable by this point. How do I do that? Just go to him? Uh, yeah, just continue. Because you went to the right earlier. Do I just go back here? Or how do I get to this area? Do I just come in from here? Yeah, you head back to where you were. How do I get in there? Uh, you have the spin boost, so you can just jump up oh, now. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just get up there now. Alright. Uh, you can also get up here. Does this help me get there? No. Um, no, that's the green teleport. This does not help me get there, so I'll just say fuck it for now. Oh, no. Uh, you need to go there, though. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, yeah, the green teleport. You need the super bomb to get in there, and it's the gray one. It's the one that's directly oh, above you. Okay. Oh. Oh, this isn't a big deal. Yeah, it's just him. It's just this fuck. You have to fight a lot of these dudes. And... In the, uh, with all the sequence breaking that you can do in this, uh, you skip one of them. Really? Yeah, you skip one of the red ones. So, uh, after the first one with the shield, you get to skip a second one who also has a shield. That's interesting. Uh, he, uh, died as he hit you. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing Samus heals from that shit immediately. Yeah. Um. We never really actually discussed our topic, our question from yesterday. Or, oh, or we talked week. about it for a little bit. Yeah, we didn't we really did. give our we answer. Yeah, we didn't really. No, get you into gave it. your answer. Yeah. You said like. Uh, no, 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 because you posed a different question on I accident. I posed it. I posed a different question on accident. And then you were like tens, and then you like gave the answer to the actual one really shortly. Yeah, we didn't actually talk about it in, in any sort of detail. Yeah. So, I know I gave my answer, which was at least a couple thousand lift the Empire State Building. Because I was like, a regular body, a bodybuilder could generally lift like, let's say 500 pounds. And I think that at least two or three thousand of them are required to lift however heavy the Empire State Building is. How do you get back up here? Uh, you just jump up there. You let yourself fall down and then use the spin boost to jump in. Oh. Yeah. How do I get up there? You don't need to. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just go through this shit, and then you'll eventually get up there. How? Uh, we go across here first, and then up. Oh, okay. But, Real easy. Like, and this... you go up there. What? How does this help? And now you go over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck. And while you can get past this part without having the spin boost, the spin boost is like so much easier to use this way. Yeah, it really is. And this is the section. It's in the bottom left. Oh, it's bottom left? Yeah. How dare you. It's good that you suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can't do that yet. Uh. Yeah, I You're think a couple... It would take a couple hundred people. At least. A couple hundred. It at, also, yeah, at least. It depends on how you do it. Because, like, if you were to pick it up from the bottom using your back, like... I mean, that's how I'm imagining it being lifted from the foundation. Yeah, okay, but, like, if you have to put in... The foundation weighs more than the building. Uh, well, yeah, because the foundation is, like, a necessary integral part to the building. But, like... Keeping it, it solid. But, no, it wouldn't be, because you wouldn't need it if people are picking it up. If people are picking it up, people could replace the foundation with themselves. You'd just kind of rip it from the foundation. If all they're lifting is the very edges of it, sure. If you could somehow fit those several thousand people that I think across the edges alone, then sure. But realistically speaking, you would need to have the bodybuilders underneath it to lift it up, which wouldn't really be doable without the foundation. Because otherwise you're just, just like, oh no, I'm lifting the carpet. How <laughs> difficult. I feel like he's gonna get you're, Yeah, dead. you're dead. Nope. N nope. I, I, dude, I had it. I was just too early. Yeah, and also you can't do it on the bottom. You have to go to the top. I can do it from the bottom. I've, I extensively tried before learning that you could do it from the top. I can do it from the bottom. You want to do it from the bottom because I said you can't do it from the but bottom. I could do it. I was, I'm going to do it from the bottom regardless. You said you're going to do it from the bottom because I have now said that you can't. No, I was going to do it regardless. If you say so. Yeah, that camera's really working out for you. Hello. Okay, this is not enough room. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not enough room. This block is here to, like... It's purposely designed so that you can't do it from the bottom. It okay. wants you to think about it. But, like, I want to do it there. I know, I wanted to do it there. And but, like, there's Connor playing Dread. Yeah, finally. And now you can watch the show. Yeah, you fucking... I mean, he's doing he's, like... He's like, Calling him he's out. like, I'm not going to watch the show yet because I haven't played the game. And it's like, okay. Uh, no, you, you go up to the uh, that thing and you can go across. Oh, but he's over there. Why was he over there? Why was he in that door? Well, that's where he, that's where he starts. He started there every single time. Does that, he? That's why I was going to shoot there, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I was just going to get him across the top. I thought he came from the fucking bottom section. Nah, he's always been coming from the top. Because I've been ganked from there. Nah, he always went from the top. Okay. Fuck it. See, he just came from the top. Okay. He might try to head back up. Yeah. Yo, what up? I usually head into the next room just to do that. Where is he? He's at the bottom, because he hasn't left this room. So he's going to be coming up from this left side now. I'm waiting for him to uh, show himself. Oh no. You were exactly where I wanted you to be, but not when I wanted you to be there. How awesome. Wow, it, re it really wants you to do it on the top left, huh? This camera is not working out. I actually almost got him like that. Almost, but like... I could have if I believed, I just didn't. This is... what is wrong You're with you? putting it real close. Oh, uh, you might want to move back a couple steps. Because 
he's gonna want to stand. Yeah. Okay, he's just gonna come up to my he, face. Yeah, he'll come up to your face, but he'll stop to stand, so you should be fine. Easy money. Because for some reason, when his face mask is broken, he, he refuses. Just has to stand. Yeah. He's like, I will walk menacingly. Also, the uh, the last Emmy's like location to get through and like beat him. I haven't struggled with it since the first time. Well, it's not exactly very hard. The first time, like, freaked me out because I was in such a small space with little room to go. Alright, now where do we go? Ferenia. How do I get there? Um, it's that middle one. Middle one? The middle purple. Ah, I see. Now that you have the ice missiles, you can head back there and destroy the, uh... Uh, d d d lava goop. I hate arm. those red noodles. I hate them so much. The red noodle. Oh yeah, you tank up here, huh? Blocked my way for so long. There was one that shows up like super early in the first area, and I swear I went back there trying to get to it like five times my first playthrough. Really? Like it's so in the way. It's in such an annoying place because I'm like, oh, I want to explore there, and it's like, nope, you can't. Oh, you mean the one that's in like that? That's to the, the hallway. Bottom left hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that one. Whoever put. The, oh no. You're doing this wrong. Out of order. You don't need this. What is this? Pulse radar. Oh, this fucking sucks. Yeah, you don't need I'm this. Skipping the cutscene. Fuck this item. Is this it, an optional item? Yeah. You don't need it. I get it every time, and I, I never want it. It sucks. It's so bad. Ooh, ooh, wow, look. Oh, wow, you can help find cubes. Awesome. We need to do that for a reason. Some people are really bad at finding them. Just put down ammo. You'll find it eventually. Yeah, you'll find it eventually. Some people really suck at it. Some people suck at pressing buttons. Uh-huh. You heard it here first. All right, where am I going? Um, I look at the map. Oh. It put me where I want to be, so... Yeah, you can go up there. It should... I think... It should let you through here. I can't that believe... That was some frames for a second. Yeah, that was strange. I can't believe in our second episode we've already gotten political. I wasn't expecting us to get political. I wasn't either. But and then we got political because it came up in conversation. Because everything's a political issue. Like, That's why, because we said <laughs> that comment and then got political. But like, it's true. Like, it shouldn't be political anyway. Like, yeah. Fuck politics. Yeah, politics suck. That's not news. Fuck people wanting different things than me. <laughs> That's why it's politics. Exactly. People want different things. Some people shouldn't be allowed to think. Some people Easy. disagree. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know who would disagree with your previous comment? Which one? The people who you said shouldn't think. They'll disagree uh, with some that. Some of them probably wouldn't. No, some of them wouldn't, but like some would. Yeah, but also I value their opinion as much as most people do. Yeah, okay, so you can do the skip right here. Alright, how do I do it? So, oh. hold the charge beam, then dash melee into the wall and hold L. L? L. Now that you have your foot in the wall, what shoot the it. What fuck?! Yeah, you shoot that, you see the block uh, directly where your foot is standing on? Yeah. Shoot slightly to the left so you, that you like, hit the claw hand of the dude underneath. Not not that foot, the, your uh, Samus's right foot. So like here? Yeah. Slightly over to the right a little bit more. I don't know if you can do it without... If you, like, met... Okay. Last part. So you get the aim, right? Don't, don't keep releasing. Hold it. When you have the aim that you think is going to hit not the heart, but the dude's hand. You see that enemy down there? You want oh. it to hit his claw. Okay. Hit ZL now. Turn into a morph ball. 
it'll go through and hit that, which gives it like a way to bounce off and hit the heart. So I hold L. Yeah. Then aim it down. And then ZL. Because you don't release, you just turn into the ball because it'll release for you. This is strange. Yeah, and you don't want- you want to hit the very tip of his, like, claw, so that it reaches. Okay. You don't want to hit him, you're Which too- claw? The, like, just as far out as you can while still thinking it'll hit him. Okay. And I think you're too far over slightly, Li like, smidge it over more to the left. A Thanks. little bit more to the right. And then ZL. It hit him once. Yeah, it hit him, but it didn't do the thing it wanted. Okay, so I just gotta keep doing that? Yeah. Fuck. It's a weird skip. It makes sense. It makes sense, it's just weird how it's done. It's like there ish? Mm hmm. About. I don't know exactly how specific it is. But it takes me a couple tries <laughs> to get this. Because you're like barely able to stick the fucking uh, gun into the floor. Yeah, it's really, really tight. Oh, that was close. Also, if the dude dies, you have to go in the previous room and just run all the way to the elevator and then back so it reloads him. Okay. Because what I learned on my first time is if you can kill him and not get the thing. I'm like gonna kill him because I've hit him a couple times. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Yeah, you're just slightly over too far to the right because you're hitting his body and not the like claw shit. And that's just way too far over left. Yeah, it's such a weird, interesting skip. This is very interesting. Yeah, what's uh, what's our question of the day? Cause it's about that time. Is it? Are we almost a done? We week? are. Yeah. Oh, uh... The only one I had thought of as a possible one was the uh, question I've been asking since sophomore year of high school. What's that question? If you were to he cut died. a baby in half. He died. Fuck. He died. So, for a little bit of context beforehand, this is based off like the King Solomon story and cutting a baby in half. And because of a uh, John Mulaney, I've respond. taken this into a funny... You have to run all the way to the elevator and then back in. Because if you're not, if you run into the room too quickly, he doesn't have time to respawn, which is weird. I don't get it. But so that's that's where this is coming from. This isn't like a I like to eat babies thing. Well, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you were to cut a baby in half, how would you do it to make it? the most fair way possible for two people. Are we going to answer now? No. That's okay. how these question of the weeks work. Okay. I, we don't get the answer. We don't give what our answer would be until the next week. Okay. Gives them something to look for. Understood. Yeah. This is an interesting question though, because I think there's an objective answer. I think there's an obvious objective answer. I have the answer that I've come to. <laughs> I I, uh, I think I mostly agree with your answer, but I just think it's... If it's not identical to mine, it's wrong. Because I think mine is correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like the last thing we'll be doing is getting this face jump? Yeah, we're trying for it, at least. Oh, who knows? It we'll get it. If, if you can't get it after too many tries, and you're like, ah, whatever, I'll do it in the last minute. Well, I don't. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Is the main problem. It's just your aim. It's just like it's slightly off. I can show you a short thing of it. Just show me a picture of like perfect aim, and I'll be able to replicate it. Uh, I don't have a picture, sadly. I only have GIF.
Maybe the problem is I'm not meleeing close enough to the wall. Uh, no, I don't think it really matters where you melee, but... Okay. It looks like they're going like, straight down. Yeah. I... It's got a strange angle. Strange, incredibly precise angle. Yeah. Also, uh, still waiting for Detective Conan to have a good amount of episodes to watch. I, I got that it immediately. Canon. I got it. it it's just a, oh, uh, you kind of need him to get back, but whatever. Whatever. It's fine. We're cutting out. Ah, uh, where does it even want you to head? Yeah, it, it actually just wants you to head. Yeah, right, it immediately it. wants you to head to, uh, get the spark. Woo, we got the space jump. Uh, not spark, screw attack next is immediately what it wants you to do. Where is that? That's back in the first area, right? It's back in Artaria, How but you can get, get... There? So, you can get to it really quickly from this location. Oh, really? Where? where? So, okay, head back down to where you were, the water. Okay. It's kind of why I said you needed the guy. But, I mean, oh yeah, you need to space jump your way across. Eh, you can reload him. Because it's just like ten times faster than anything else. Oh wait, I need this guy? No, you need the guy that you killed earlier, which was the other guy on the wall. For what? To get to Dioron, then Artaria really quickly. What? Yeah. How do I need him? Okay. Uh, because you need him as a platform. The fuck? Okay. You use the ice missiles, that's oh. why the ice missiles are... Wait, used. so like, okay, so it's like actual Metroid ice platforming. Weird, I didn't think you could do that in this game, so then I'm not this guy. Yeah, not that guy. Down there. You can certainly this do guy. that. That guy. You on the left. Guy? You okay. need him on the left. Why? If you go onto the, uh, this, then shoot a missile two blocks above him. So here. Yeah. No, a little bit higher. There you go. What oh. you need to do is stand on him and do the a bomb. Uh, it's open now, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, because I can just space jump over now. Oh, no. Uh, it's okay, I can still do it. You can do it. Oh my, oh my god. Those guys have so much health. Uh, you're gonna need to do that again. You don't know me. Fuck. <laughs> I'd know. You're gonna no. need to do it again. Yeah, you, you're mashing too much and not immediately going over to the right. Who cares? If it works after three. Okay, now if you shoot the wall to the right, like one of them to the right, no, not immediately to your right. It's rightened up. Just use the pulse radar. You'll see it. Okay. There you Just go. Just do that as well. That works. Then you head down. It's on the left. So is this like a hidden teleporter or? Uh, nah. It get this. Is just a quick way to get to the bottom left teleporter. You've already been to this teleporter, it's just a different way of going. It's underneath on the left. There it is. That's where I said it was. See, who needs the fucking pulse radar? You can just search for shit like that. You can. Then you head down. Yep, down there. Blow up that, and now you can head to Dairon. Swag. Oh yeah, I have been here. Mm -hmm. Okay, does, and does and this have an easy access to Ferenia? From here, you go to the yellow teleporter to Artaria. To Ar okay. Because this is just the fastest method. You might even get the screw attack before this episode ends. Yeah. We've got time. I, uh, you have to learn a different new trick, but it's not like it's... It's not difficult. This It's not nearly as precise as this one was. Yeah, we still have like ten minutes, so... Yeah. 
So we head to Artaria, and then you head to the bottom left through the two cold areas to get to it. So even though I don't have the few, the gravity. Yeah, even though you don't have the gravity, you just head through the cold, right, the two so cold don't areas because yellow you, teleporter. Yeah, it's on the right. Yeah. You wanted to head there, but couldn't. Oof. What are you- why? What are you doing? Oh. Uh, bottom one. This one heads to Ferenia, but the top half. Nah, it's yeah. the top. Oh, yeah, speed boost. There we go. I was like, come on. I know this is here. Yeah. <laughs> it's also necessary. Yeah. I just can't remember what it was necessary for originally. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to do this, weren't you? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, we totally didn't do this. Because I just broke those blocks for the first time. Yep. Oh wow, I really don't remember how to play this game. No. <laughs> I actually only remember the speedrun path now. I remember my path I took my second and third playthrough. I don't remember the actual path anymore. Yeah. The actual path is lost to time for me. I have no idea it's how to do it. It's lost to time! <laughs> I have no idea how to do it. Who cares? Metroid games are fun because of this shit. Yeah. You can take it a bunch of different ways. That's what makes it fun! an objectively fastest one, but you can do it a bunch of different ways. Well, the objectively fastest one still hasn't been found, though. It's changing. Yeah. Alright, so... Bottom left. Bottom left. We're heading there. Yeah, well, almost. You're heading to, like, the room before. Okay. And you don't want to go through the top half, you want to go through the bottom part to get to it. So if you go to the map, you don't want to head towards where the red teleporter is, you want to head south directly. So I take it right. Yeah. Because the red teleporter brings you to the upper area of that, and that's not where you want to go. Woo, platform. Yeah, you wanna fucking just drop it down. Mmm, but you wanna head a little bit left first. Where am I going? Hold on. Scroll up. You see where the uh, missile is? You wanna head to the left of that. Oh, okay, so I gotta go back up. Yeah. You could certainly head back this way, but it's not exactly the easiest. What do you mean? If it works. But like, it's still easier to do the other way. Oh, this thing's in the way. Uh-huh. It's okay, I can go around it. I'm that so works. sick. No, 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 no! <laughs> Are you sick? <laughs> That's not my fault, dude. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, just head back up. I've gotten fucked by that one mask thing so many him. times. Fuck him. I've hit- I've run- oh, you can't pass it because you didn't do the wide beam part here. Oh, I didn't. Okay, well. Now you need to head up and around, I guess, to head down. Yeah, and then you enter this room and drop. Where am I going? Is this down. fine? You're heading down, that's the wrong- You don't want to head oh. left, you want to head down. How is this different than where I was at? Uh, because the wide- the wide beam block was blocking you from heading towards this way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then we continue down and to the left. But yes, we might as well grab this since it's here. This is very opposite from the first episode where you were telling me where to yeah. go. Yeah, well I mean like I haven't ever done this part though. Yeah. 
It's just interesting in one oh, episode. Oh, I've never seen that before. Seen what? The morph ball counter. Morph ball counter? She has a flip kick. I didn't know she had a morph ball counter. I didn't either. Okay. So, yeah, you want to go through the cold area. I don't really want to. No, you need to. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't really want to. But yeah. Then you head down through here. Might as well grab this. And then up and to the left. To through through two cold areas. This one and that. Open this no down. I'm dead. I'm alive. No, you're fine. You're barely fucking alive. You almost made a mistake that was that would cost you your life and like 30 minutes of playtime. Oh wait, you're right, because we haven't saved. <laughs> uh-huh. Better not die to the dudes up there when we get there. Nah, I could just take care of them here. Oh, you, no, I can't. Yeah, you can't shoot through the wall. Oh, those are gonna kill me. So, you need to do the thing I did here, the thing I did underwater earlier in Gavaron here, to get onto this ledge. You don't jump, you let it boost you up. Alright, so what do I do? Uh, you boost it up, hit ZL to undo that, then jump, hit ZL to turn into a morph ball, place a bomb, undo the morph ball, then jump again, morph ball, and grab, then after that okay. undo the morph ball again to do the ledge. It's a butt, effectively you mash. <laughs> not, no, not okay. like actual mash. Then jump, morph ball, bomb. Without landing in the morph ball, because you need to be a person again. Oh, okay. Not only because it lets you land faster, but because it'll reset your morph ball jump height. Okay, and then what do I do? So, you jump, morph ball, land... I did the second one. Well, after you get the second one and it boosts you up, you unmorph ball and you'll grab the ledge. Okay, so morph ball, bomb, unmorph ball, now jump morph ball. Ah. You were oh, then slow. I'm just supposed to do that, then I can get it? Yeah. Okay. Almost. Okay. I see. Yeah. You can hit the button really quick and turn from... Yeah. I'm like, I don't understand why I'm not like... What the fuck? <laughs> I clipped into the wall? Eh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, okay, now from that ledge. No, you, you can't do it from here yet. I, uh, I want that. Oh, no, I don't. Yes, I do. I do want that. Uh, if you want to get to it, then you're going to need to do what you just did without a wall. Oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> so what am I doing? So hang on the ledge. Now space jump over to that, uh, this thing, and then let yourself dip. No. So what you do is you see that, uh, let the corner. Yeah. Wait while you're space jumping, you uh dip slightly underneath the ledge and then back up because it'll give you a boost in jump height so that you can jump over to the right again and get on top of the ledge. Why? Because otherwise you can't reach that ledge, which is required to go. No, but like why attack. does it do that? I d ask the developers. I honestly can't tell you. I understand the concept now. Yeah. The problem is now I'm getting my buttons mixed up. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> that happened to me for a minute too. Oh my god, Samus. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, immediately after- What the hell how? Yeah, after you flip under it, you immediately need to head left so that you can like get your jump height and arc around it. It's very weird. All right, well, we'll be sure to get this first thing next week. You sure you don't want me to show you? Yeah, sure, whatever. You want to do it real quick? 
I just, I'm just worried about your uh, survivability once we get up there. Oh, that corner. Okay, wrong corner. Yeah. It's gonna. Nope. You guys can. No. Okay, come on. Come through the here. Gimme. Okay, we're safe. Okay, I can get it from here. Yeah, because awesome. now you just do that jump again in the water. But yeah, it's a weird jump. Very awkward. Oh, you can you don't have to be against a wall to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can just do it wherever. There you go. This is so early. Oh yeah. This is stupid early. <laughs> yeah, the purple Emmy? Nothing. D haven't done them yet. Uh, we don't have cross missiles. Yeah, we're or we don't have I like storm missiles. Gravity suit is <laughs> what it shows for this because this is like the literal last pickup in the fucking game. Yeah, by this point we would normally both have both the cross bombs and storm missiles. Yeah. Which we have neither of, and the gravity suit. We have none of those things. Also, this is... You... It's interesting. I found this out earlier, too. Strange. You can't go back in there. I, because that would just... I think because you would die. I think that, that breaks progression too much. Yeah, because that door... Is supposed to be frozen. Uh-huh. That entire room is frozen. That room doesn't actually exist. Yeah. Interesting. It's so weird. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and then to leave, you need to do that jump out of the water. Okay. And then immediately start screw attack, or uh, space jumping your way up. No. You have to land as a person and not as a ball. Man, you gotta, you gotta curl fast. Uh-huh. Fuck. But like, as far as uh, speedrunning tricks goes, I think this one's the easiest. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It doesn't require, like... All it requires is you push a button semi-quickly. It's, yeah, it's really not that hard. We can just go back this way. Yeah, and you can just we can just head back this way and hit a save room. Um. Yeah, once again, uh, tell us your thoughts. Tell us what you thought of this episode. Give us your uh, optimal baby yeah. cut in half. Tell us your optimal what what do you think is the optimal baby coverage per person? Yeah. What would be something that you could give to two people and neither of them would have an issue with it? Well, if anyone has an issue with a cut baby, they've got problems. Yeah. Regardless. But yeah, let us know what direction you cut the baby in the comments. And we'll be sure to, once again, not read them and make fun of you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. We'll read them to make fun of you. Yes, because we, 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 we will have two better, more optimal solutions. It's true. We've thought about this for so long that if you thought if you paused this video right now and thought about it for the rest of your life, you still wouldn't have put as many man hours into thinking about it as we have together. Yeah. We've been thinking about this shit for a long time. Anyway, that's our show. Good night, everybody. Night. <laughs>